black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host or the gatekeeper of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, mighty, Mighty mm. Angel Snub Nub Seven. I am your brother and hopefully your friend Talik Ebin Ra. I would first like to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity as always, and I really and truly feel that it is so much of an honor that you would give a few moments of your time so that I may speak with you and us in hopes of a dialogue whereas the ultimate goal hopefully would be what some call black or African unity and the result will be independence for these people who are called the descendants of slaves born in America African Americans the Negro colored black however the description that we know of as but one thing for sure is that we deserve to be in a better position in life and we deserve to be independent out from under other forces so that we can enjoy the value or the things that come from up out of our own mentality, our own creativity, what we make with our own hands. We have been denied this for over 400 years. And it is not fair. It is not just. And these who have suffered for so long, you deserve better. And when we think of better, to attain something like this, to attain a goal like this, we would call it being successful. So the topic that I've chosen for this very short video lecture is what do we mean by success? There are those who may dislike what I have to say. They dislike my opinion and the dislike of that opinion for some produces hatred and that hatred 
causes people to automatically say to someone like me, the reason why I say what I say is because I am not successful. One of our enemies, they are called Uncle Toms. I call them dark Europeans. They are known as Uncle Ruckus. I also call them the racist pink guard dogs. But you get the uh, general idea. There are Negroes out here that live among us who will point and direct at all of us who seek a better condition for our people void of Caucasian people void of anybody except ourselves they do not and cannot comprehend the descendants of slaves born in America in a place of independence a place of living without Caucasian people without being dependent on pink people or anyone for substance. They have an extreme slave mentality. And so, since they are comfortable with the crumbs in this society, they view crumbs that come and fall from another man's table as success. So my question again, I bring to us is, what is success? When you walk down the street and a homeless person who is nothing but a drunk, he begs you for two dollars. Two dollars is no real money. But you give the homeless person, this homeless drunk, two dollars. In their mind, that is success because I had nothing and I begged you for two dollars. I am successful. Again, what is this success that you're talking about? You're looking at a homeless person, this drunk person, who believes success is begging for two dollars when they have the potential to be much greater and better. But instead they've chosen to be satisfied living on the street begging for two dollars, fifty cents, and whatever somebody would give them. So you have the dark European, the Uncle Ruckus. They only see us as the continued servants and being dependent upon those who place us in the condition that they complain about who they have become comfortable in the condition and do not want you and I to remind them because they believe they are successful begging on the street for two dollars. That is not my fault. That is your fault. If you have submit yourself and satisfied with the crumbs that fall from another man's table when you can build and create your own table and your own crumbs. But a real man, a real woman, don't want to see another human being begging for crumbs, begging for two dollars. You want to reach out and grab their hands and lift them up. So they can be good as you. But you have people on this planet that love to see suffering. They don't want you to be good as them. They always want to be better. And that is the problem. And that is something that you can't. Or the dark European, the Uncle Tom, the Uncle Ruckus. They cannot comprehend that you're living with a group of people. You're living in a society that do not want you to be equal to them. They have proven that 
for over 400 years. This is not hate speech. This is a fact written by these people in their history books. When you start from the first time the African, the black man, first was brought here, kidnapped, brought here, or forced to work, however you want to see it. From that very time, there has been no attempt to view you as an equal, no attempt to even view you as a man. For years, the black man and woman had to march out in the street with a sign saying, I am a man. This is because you was not recognized as a man. You was not recognized as a woman. In fact, for many years, you was considered and seen as a savage. You were counted as three-fifths of a human being. But at the same time, you expect justice and equality from a people with this mentality that have gained the world and give you little or nothing. And you and I, our ancestors, are the ones who put them in the position that they are in. Then they call us welfare recipients when the first welfare was slavery. You lived off the backs of black people for over 300 years. And then when you claim to set black people free, you underpaid black folks and cheated and robbed us of the things that we were able to gain for over a hundred years. But we are the welfare recipients. There is no greater welfare recipient than the racist European Caucasian people on this planet in Europe and the Americas. The reason why Europe and, um, and America is so powerful because they have blood suck and parasite the dark people of this planet and still continue to do so as the only continent left on this planet that, that has not suffered extreme pillage and they have not truly plundered although they have tried is the continent of Africa so now China and Europe everybody is focusing on Africa Africa is the only way that these nations can continue to live. The only place where there is fossil fuels that gave them the power that they now have. But what is going to happen when the oil runs out? When the, all the fossil fuels run out? What will happen to you? But these don't think that far in the future because their mind is so corrupt. As long as I am superior now, I could care less about the future, showing that they do not care nothing about you and me, nor do they care about their future generations. And that's what makes somebody dangerous when they don't care. They live for the moment. And so even if I was a Caucasian person, I would truly take another look at what my elders are doing and what they have done. What is success? What do you mean you're successful? One of the simple definitions of success is to simply the accomplishment of one's goal. So if I want to be when I was a child, if I want to be a uh, lawyer, then I set my course through school and I volunteer my time at law offices and do those things necessary so I can accomplish my goal. And if I become a lawyer, in fact, it would really be nice if I had a client like O.J. Simpson or Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan or Oprah Winfrey, then truly, I have really accomplished my goal. 
So I am considered successful because I accomplish a goal. To further give definition to what success is. It is to attain honor. So if I'm a lawyer and I do a good job defending Michael Jackson, Oprah Winfrey, whoever, a celebrity client, then I attain honor. So to be successful is to also gain honor. And along with this honor, to gain your goal, many times it equals wealth. So I also make money. And then I put myself in a very high position in society. So if I beat my wife, they would not treat me like a poor person. The poor person probably would immediately go to jail. But I'm a successful lawyer. I defend O.J. Simpson, Oprah Winfrey. So my position in society is different because I have money, wealth, and honor. This also shows that success brings inequality. That means things are not equal in the society. And that should be a problem. There are many who would not view me as a successful person. What did you want to be when you grow up as a child, Brother Talit? What did you want to do? Because you're not successful. That's why you're complaining about other people. You're jealous of somebody like Tommy Sotomayor. You're jealous of all these persons that you speak of. You're jealous of Caucasian people. You're just jealous of everybody because you are successful. You're not successful. You're the average bum on the street. What is success? Well, that's why I've chosen this topic because... When we say or we brag that we are successful, do we really understand what we're talking about? What did you want to be when you grow up, Brother Tali? And the reason why you say what you say is because you were not successful. Does success mean that you sell out yourself so that be, so that you cannot really speak and be who you are and stand for justice, then there's a problem with success. What is success? When I was a child, I wanted to be an entertainer. And I still carry that feeling to this day. I wanted to write songs and be an actor. I wanted to sing and dance. I wanted to be the next Michael Jackson. That was my goal. And some would view that as a interesting goal. There are many who strive right now to this day. They want to rap and sing and dance and be an entertainer. But also as a child, I was introduced to the teachers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad who taught me about this black struggle about how the success of pink people brought oppression and murder and death to black people so somebody else's success was at somebody else's benefit and although I still feel, have those feelings of wanting to be an entertainer. And as I began to try to be an entertainer, there were people who lied to me. There were people in the industry that don't give people opportunity. There are people who steal from you and cheat you. 
This is disappointing, but that's all part of the struggle as you try to pursue your goal. That's, that's understood. But after listening to Elijah Muhammad, I found that there was something or a success. There was a goal much greater than my personal success. Because anybody, thousands and millions of people, can accomplish the goal of being a rapper, a singer, a dancer, an entertainer, a step and fetch it. Anybody can do that. But after 400 years, there has been nobody that has yet been able to achieve the goal of raising the death, the dead to life. There is nobody mentally dead like the black man and woman in America, these who are the descendants of slaves born in America. If you can accomplish that goal, that's the ultimate goal. All these other things that you call success don't mean nothing compared to raising the dead to life. Many folks try. Many folks can raise a little bit. But no voice, no movement has yet been able to come forth that can have an effect on the 40 to 70 million black people in this nation that deserve a better condition of life, that deserve true freedom and equality. So, as soon as I was able, I joined the Nation of Islam. Unfortunately, Elijah Muhammad was no longer among us. So I decided to join and help the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in his efforts to rebuild the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because that's part of me. Been part of me ever since I was a child and, and Elijah Muhammad is still part of me to this day. Although my thinking has changed at the root of that thinking and the cause of me moving forward in what we call black liberation was due to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and then I began to progress hearing the words and the example of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And so since I did not no longer want to be an entertainer, then my next goal was to become the leader of the Nation of Islam. I wanted to be the, the person who would inherit the Nation of Islam that Louis Farrakhan built. And I had so much energy. And I was so hyped up about that. People that was around me used to call me Baby Farrakhan. And I was so I was so inspired by Louis Farrakhan. And I saw him as so important that you better not hurt Louis Farrakhan. At that time, I would kill a, a brick for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. But as time goes on, your goals for, for success might change. So yes, I will agree with you that I am not successful. But also at the same time, I don't feel personal success don't mean nothing to me. If you're not successful, if the next generation is not successful, if there is no peace for the little chihuahua dog, for the zebra and the lion, and there is no peace for the whole planet, so my little success don't mean nothing. So even if I had five million dollars, it means nothing to me. 
because that's not my view of success. If the whole planet cannot have freedom, justice, and equality and be at some kind of peace, then I don't see it as success. But y'all do because you have become individuals and greedy and you only think of your own well-being. So you really don't care nothing about whether I'm successful or not, or she, or he, or if the zebras have enough land so they can live a peaceful life, you only care about your success. What is success? And most times, your success is gained because somebody else suffers. There are those who don't want to see black people really successful because success means that you are independent. It means that you are able to govern yourself. In fact, the black man and woman, the descendants of America, your potential is to become the catalyst of a brand new civilization. You and I, we are the genesis of a new world order. And the Caucasian pink people, they don't mind a new heaven. They don't mind a new world order as long as they stay in control. But the problem is they know they can't and will not control or be part of a new world or a heaven. Because there is no evil. There is no devils to be brought into this new reality. If that's the case, we can stay exactly where we're at. They are the reason why we are in the condition and the earth is in the position that is in. Why would you bring the troublemaker that destroyed the old earth, destroyed and corrupted the old heaven to something new? So they can bring in their mud on a floor you just clean. It's not going to happen. This is, the, this is the real anger that not only Caucasian people, but other people around the planet realize. You don't understand because you don't know who, who you really are. But they see you. They know your potential. They know what you can do. You don't. And they shut and want to censor and assassinate the voices of black men and women who will encourage and inspire you to, so that we can come into our right state of mind. Because the kingdom of heaven in the scriptures, it says that it is in us. But you have to allow the former things to pass away. As long as we think of the old, the new can't come into existence. There are many who have goals, but you have no purpose. So these who run around, they have no purpose. Then somebody who controls the education, that, they, that controls the media, then they give you a goal and a purpose. So you end up in jail. Because we need you there. We need you in the dope house. We need you in the drug addiction clinic. Since you don't have no goal, no purpose, then you sit around and get high all day long. You don't know what to do with yourself. So since you don't know what to do with yourself, then somebody else will fill your mind with ideas that you think that you created. You did not create drugs. You did not create liquor. You did not create all this madness, the twerking, and all this other ratchet, what they call ratchet. You did not create that. Somebody did it for you, and somebody said it to your mind, and you accepted it because you have no common purpose. You have no goal. You're just wandering. And so the wind comes and blows you wherever. The wind blows you to the left, blows you to the right, to the east, to the west. You have no Go. you just out here waiting for somebody to use you and manipulate you because you don't know what to do. You don't know how to use yourself. 
you cause the success to somebody else. It is wonderful to be successful. It is wonderful to accomplish your goal. But at what is the cost? What is the benefit of your success? What is what is success? Again, do we understand? We think that is a good thing. But there's a lot of levels and there's a lot of things that go along with success. Some of us believe getting an education, I will hear that all the time. And I would tell us and advise us, if that's how you feel, please go to school, go to a college, university, trade school, learn something so that you can be successful. But there are those who go to college. You spend two years, four years, six years, eight years, ten years. You go to college, university, you go to school. All this education. But you can't make a job for yourself. You got all this education, all these degrees on the wall. You successful because you graduated from schools of higher learning. But you can't make a job for yourself. So you got to put out a resume and beg somebody for a job. So I question the education that you're that you are receiving. With all this education, you're being successful. You are successful in gaining your education, but we fail in other places. Oh, see, I'm going to say that again. You are successful in certain goals, but you fail in other places because success is on different levels. You might be successful on level one, but on level 10, you fail. Whitney Houston was successful, but Whitney Houston became a drug addict. Whitney Houston had a failed marriage. Whitney Houston was successful but Whitney Houston was also a failure. Michael Jackson was successful. Michael Jackson also was a drug addict. Michael Jackson also suffered from self-hatred. Michael Jackson cut, up, cut off his nose, bleached his skin. Michael Jackson was very successful but also a failure. And in his failure, Michael Jackson suffered an early death by suicide. Because even though he had all this success, he knew he had become a failure in other places and he began not to even care. And his not caring caused an early death. The same with Whitney Houston. So what do you mean? What what do you mean when you tell me, oh, you're not successful? Because I don't have any wealth. I don't have position. I have yet to accomplish a goal. But I am successful in many ways. I might be broke, but I am successful. There are many ways to be successful. What do you mean what what are you trying to tell us i want you to uh excuse me because i should have brought something that i i could have uh drink because my voice is getting a little hoarse i didn't know this video really was going to be this this long so just bear with me Success. President Obama is successful. But 
we don't view a gang member as successful. Gang members go through your neighborhood and shoot up innocent people. They sponsor prostitution and sell drugs and all like this. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. But this is not successful. You don't view gang members as successful, but yet and still, they are successful. They are successful criminals. But success all the same. What do you mean? What are you trying to tell me when you said, Brother Talik, oh, you just jealous. You're not successful. Because I don't shoot people in my neighborhood. I don't, because I don't sell drugs. But the ones who do and make money and gain a position, gain money, they are successful. But you don't say the same thing to gang members. President Obama is successful. President Obama is a thug. President Obama order hits on people. The American government sells drugs, buy drugs. But they are looked upon as successful. What do you mean? The American government is no different from Al Capone, Bonnie and Clyde, John Dillinger, or the gang members out in the street. The same thing. You call them successful, and you tell your children, when you grow up, you want to be like President Obama. Obama ain't nothing but a high-functioning thug. President Obama is a monster. He's no different than Whitey Bulger sending his drone, sending his boys out to make hits on other people. No trial. Suspect. No nothing. The United States government sell guns to other people so they can have wars. Matter of fact, how did your gang members how do they get the drugs? How do they get the guns? Huh. Come on. These are successful. These are, these are the successful ones. President Obama is a liar. He suffers from poor character. He might be successful in one area. But he fails in others. He's a black man. But he's too cowardly to stand up and say something in reference to black people because he fears what Caucasian people or others might say. He has a right to talk about black. He's a black man. He might be successful and become president, but he becomes a failure as a man. He's a coward and a little sissy. Scared of what other men going to say. So yes, he's successful, but he fails in other areas. He's the president of the United States. He's supposed to represent everybody. But when you have a people in a certain condition, the black folks in this nation, if you have a child in your family and the other children can count to one, two, three, and you have a child that can only count to one, then it is the responsibility of the parents to, to give extra attention to the child that can only speak to count to one. It is selfish and it is arrogant for the other children to be jealous because the other people need help. If the black people in this country, if our unemployment is triple, quadruple the national average, if there are, if we have a problem with black on black crime, whatever our problems is, we need special attention. But these fakes, <laughs> woo, these fakes. They don't want the government. They don't want nobody to give you attention because if they don't have any problem, why are they jealous? 
Why are they envious? Why they don't want you, somebody to come and help us? I am telling you, these people are fake. They fraud, they hypocrites. Because in order for them to feel successful, somebody got to be in worse shape. Because their, their so-called success is at your detriment. They have to have somebody to look down upon. Somebody to degrade and make mockery. And that is us, the black man and woman of America. That's why those of us who speak up, those of us who are trying to uplift and awaken the minds of black people, that's why they come out and attack us. Because the government could help you. The government could help the black community. But it does not want to. Because these others, there's nobody black in power in the government. Just like Michael Jackson said, they don't care about us. And they also don't want you to care about yourself. Because once you care about yourself, you can easily rise up and pull on our own bootstraps and come up out of this condition. But see, if we rise, see, this is the key. If we rise and become successful, and somebody else is parasiting off of us because we were in a bad condition. That means as we rise, somebody else fall. All these leeches will begin to fall. They know this. That's why they don't want you and me in a better. They don't want us successful. So Beyonce can go on stage, and Beyonce can twerk, and Beyonce can act ratchet. But nobody going to talk about Beyonce 24 hours a day because she's successful because she has money. She has honor. She has a high position in society. She accomplished her goal of being a big singer, star, celebrity. But the poor sister with a little weave in her head. She got two or three children. We want to talk about her like a dog. Talk about the poor brother that sang his pan. Working three jobs. Trying to make it. Everybody got something to say. They are not successful. But the, the, the young black woman with the children. Even though she has children to feed. Many of them will not run around and watch you starve to death. The brother, the only thing he has is a 1979 Pinto. But if he see you walking, he'll offer you a ride. But Beyonce and the president and all these, all y'all successful people, you will ride in your car. You will ride in your limousine. And somebody walking, you will... You will offer them a ride. Matter of fact, you will, you will drive your car in a mud puddle and splash mud on the person that's walking. I don't want to be successful. If that's your idea of success, I don't want nothing to do with it. You are successful. And many of these people, they are not happy in their lives. You have these people with money. They have attained their goal. They have high position, wealth, honor, but they are not happy with their life. So you have success, but you are not successful in your life. And many people with money do drugs, they get high, they commit suicide because they are successful in, in the material world. But they are not and have not been successful in life. What do you do for your success? There are those who allow other people to call you names. There are women who will sleep with men so they can get cast in a certain movie or get a certain job. 
That's what dark Europeans do. They know the racism. They know the evil. They know the history that we face, but they keep their mouth shut. They pay a price. They sell themselves out. You have no pride. You black with a blonde weave on your head. You black and you cut your nose and make it pointed and cut off your lips. Bleach your skin. You successful. But filled with self-hatred. As soon as our people start making a little money, they, they not only do they have to think Caucasian, but they want to look Caucasian. There are many things that our brother Tommy Sotomayor talks about that is true. But where does it come from? And are you adding to the problem or you make it worse? And, uh, and if you are successful, have you sold yourself out? You sell yourself out, self out so you can have a little money, have a little honor. But you are only successful on one level while you fail in others. Success in the world of materialism, in the world of Western civilization created by racist pink people, much different from many African cultures. Because the African, the black man, prior to Europeans, did you know they wore gold, they wore silver, they dressed themselves in pretty things. It was no big deal. Build a house out of gold. Build a, put diamonds all over a door. Nobody cared. Because they were not materialistic. And the king and the queen. They looked out for the village. They looked out for the kingdom. But now the people. The people. They serve the kings and the queens and the presidents rather than the presidents and the kings and the queens being a servant of the people. They are successful while the people suffer. What do you mean when you tell me about you just jealous because you're not successful? If this is what y'all call success, I don't want nothing to do with it. So you can have it. And it do not impress me. You greedy and selfish and grandiose and arrogant. You successful with material things, but you really are a low life. So you have all these successful black people who have no self pride. You suffer poor character. You are liar. You arrogant. You envious. You suffer from low self esteem. You have no pride. But you're successful. If you are poor, if you are uneducated, you are a thug and a ratchet. But you can have rich people, the successful, who behave like a thug, behave like a whore, who suffer from these ill behaviors, but because they have money. They are viewed as successful, but they mentally ill. You are successful, but you are so greedy and selfish. You accumulate material wealth that you will never spend in your lifetime. And you will not share what you have with others. You will not reach out and try to bring people up. Because you want, you need somebody to look down upon. So greedy. You buy 50 houses that you, that you can't live in. 50 cars. And you are fornicators and adulterers. Jumping from woman to woman, man to man. 
woman to man, man. Y'all freaks. From man to dog, from woman to dog, a bunch of freaks, porn addicts, dope fiends, and y'all successful, successful at doing what? Successful at evil. Successful at unrighteous behavior, as they would say in religious terms. So if that's the case, I would rather be unsuccessful. I would rather be unsuccessful and poor. Because I have feelings for other human beings regardless to your color. I don't want to see no human being starving. I don't want to see no human being homeless. I don't want to see no human being without clothes. I don't want to see no human being without a job unable to support themselves. I don't want to see no child unable to go to school Go to school with a with a, a, a hungry stomach. I don't mind sharing my wealth. So if you gave me fifty million dollars, it wouldn't mean nothing because I figure a way how to share it and how and how my community and my town and my city how we can benefit from this wealth. So everybody, <laughs> even the homeless person. We'll be looking good on the street. You might be homeless temporarily because good people don't want to see homeless people on the street. But y'all ain't no damn good. Excuse me, my voice has went hoarse. But you're not no good. Do you know what you're successful? You're successful at evil. You're successful at being a liar. You successful at being arrogant. You successful at being self-righteous. That type of success, I don't want nothing to do with. So y'all can have that. You can have it. And with that said, in conclusion, I'm happy if this is the case not to be successful because after 400 years I don't have to I don't have to gain personal success my ultimate goal my ultimate purpose to attain honor to attain position I want to see these black people, these African people, the Negro, the African American, these who are the descendants of slaves born in America, for me, there is nothing more important than seeing us and our children in a better position. Why? Because you deserve it. We was raped, murdered, terrorized, and we are still mistreated till this day. The black man and woman in America, you deserve your own. And although you don't know it, you are opposite of this world. They are greedy. You are not. They are selfish. You are not. They are murderers. You are not. You, they are killers. You are not. They tell you this lie. The reason why there's black on black crime, the reason why we do the things we do is because of our living in this society. Once you take yourself up out of this society and understand the psychological things that happen to us, we can break these things because this society living under the influence of these wicked people have made us unnatural. In fact, we are different from the Africans. We're different from everybody here. 
all these other people on this planet, whether they are Caucasian or dark, they have blood on their hands from causing harm to somebody or something. The black man and woman in America, the descendants of slaves born in America, unless it was guided by Caucasian people, we as a people have brought no harm to nobody. Thus, this is the reason why you and I, we have the we have the material that is needed in order to bring a new reality to the human being. And many others recognize this. That's why they want to keep you and me in a bad position. Because they know our potential. They know who you are. We don't know who we are. Because that's why they keep throwing little Wayne and Beyonce and Jay and all these and they they put our people that uh exhibit what they call ratchet behaviors. They keep putting them in the forefront because they know if they begin to put us put our best in the forefront and the what's in the forefront begin to inspire us as a people, we begin to rise. And whenever something rises, something else has to fall. In order to bring in a new black reality, then the opposite of that reality must fall. And it is the civilization that the pink people of the planet have created. And they know this. We don't. It don't take a lot. It don't take much to make this reality. So with that said, if that is success, then I am glad I am not successful. Because that success represents greed, arrogance, murder, lies, deceit, poor character, dishonesty, arrogance. And I don't want nothing to do with those things. Self-righteous behavior. How can you live in a society, in a nation that was built on slavery and murder and rape? Lies. And you think that good things are supposed to come out of it. Y'all a bunch of drunks. And you will find drunks in all the ethnic groups in this country. Rapists are in every ethnic group in this country. Ratchets. Every every ill behavior that you claim black folks do, you will find it really and more. But see, we don't control the media. And then there are stupid, silly Negroes that believe the media. They believe this stuff. If black people in this, in this nation... Was, was this bad? Was as bad as these people claim? How did they survive 300 years of slavery? How did they survive Jim Crow? How have we survived? My black people, it's all about that unification. Unity, 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 Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple.